I'd like to introduce Emerald Azura. It's been designed specifically for warm water cruising. It's been designed for the Mediterranean and to provide all the public space, safety, stability, and the amenities that our guests would enjoy. It only has 50 cabins, the smallest cabin, and there is only six of these, are 18 square metres. That's our leading cabin category on the main deck. The next stateroom up, our balcony staterooms, the smallest of which is 28 square metres and ranges up from there. We have terrace and yacht suites, which are on the aft of the ship. These are upwards of 60 square metres and really provide a spectacular view of the Mediterranean. And then, of course, we've got the owner suite, which is 111 square metres. But it's not just about luxurious cabins and large spaces there, it's about the other amenities on the ship. So if you go to Horizon Bar and Lounge, once again, we've only got 100 guests. This is 240 square metres. So it's a large space. And just like on our river cruises, this will be the hub of the ship. This is where people will go for a drink before dinner and after dinner. We have some speakers, etc. Reflections Restaurant. Typically with restaurants, they talk about two square metres per guest is quite spacious. That's a good size. Reflections is 315 square metres for only 100 guests. Could easily accommodate 160 and it'll have seating for 130. Plus, on the outside, seating for another 48 guests on the terrace, which is immediately behind Reflections Restaurant for open air dining, breakfast, lunch and dinner. The Pool Cafe, I'm sure, will be a very popular spot. 240 square metres in total, including the pool, but over 200 square metres without it. But this, I'm certain, will be extremely popular. And I've got to tell you, it is mega yacht cool. This infinity pool, I think there are going to be a hell of a lot of people watching this ship go past saying, who's the billionaire on there? There'll be a hundred of them, or at least they'll get treated that way. This is another area, this is 250 odd square metres and it's right on the top of the ship, spa, outside deck area and I'm absolutely certain this is going to be a really popular spot. It's going to be a lovely place to be on the top of the ship. Observation lounge for those people who just want to get away, have a cup of tea, read a book and of course a very large observation deck at the front. For those people that might want to get down to the gym, a full gym and spa area, treatment rooms, sauna, steam room, and also a hairdresser on board. And where are we going to sail? Most importantly, because that's what this ship is all about. It'll go into all the major ports, but the area that we wanted to keep only being 110 metres long, it can get into all the small ports. So, yes, we start in Barcelona, finish in Rome, but it's all the little ports in between that'll make this really special. So we've got Western Med, Rome to Venice, Adriatic coast, Greek islands, Turkey, and then in the winter months, we get down to the Red Sea and the Holy Lands. It's a 12 month program in the Mediterranean and the Red Sea. A lot of what the ship is about is getting into those smaller ports. And there's quite a few here where we literally pull up right in the center of town because the locations that you pull up will totally allow people to go on and off the ship at their own bequest and do whatever they want to do for the day and explore at their own, come back when they feel like it without any set itinerary. You can see a yacht in there at the moment. That's where we'll be pulling up. It's right in the middle of town. And there's some beautiful other places like the, the really local little villages. And of course, because we've only got 100 guests, we can go to the local market, we can get fresh fish. We don't have to provision so much. We set up all of the provisioning on set itineraries where we can genuinely use local fresh produce on a daily basis. This one here I really love, uh, Pran in, in uh, Slovenia. Beautiful little township. As you know, Slovenia has a very, very small piece of coast 
beautiful old village, somewhere where people can walk on, explore themselves, get back on the ship, go back out in the afternoon, do as they please. I'm certain you'll find it extremely popular. That's our big announcement. The ship will be sailing from July 2021. Thanks, and that is it for tonight.